Hey folks, it's Pat here. Got another chapter nine question. And that's this guy right here, confidence interval for the population mean, use of the t distribution. This one's exactly like use of the standard normal distribution, except for you're using t values on the, on, under the a different distribution, the t distribution, which has a slight change in the formula to it. Um, but it, it all the math is exactly the same. The only thing about this problem that's a little bit different is they give you usually sometimes they give you the straight up values um, you know so they say well our sample standard deviation is this and you know all that stuff for a sample mean is this and sometimes they make it calculated by giving you the raw data okay um, the problems are exactly the same all right so you just have to do an extra step whenever you get one of these that actually gives you the raw data okay so like we did with the z distribution uh, confidence intervals for the standard normal you can either do this in the alex calculator or you can do it using the spreadsheet that i provided in module three all right the exact same way two different roads same destination all right so i'll show you how to do it both ways all right let's start with the calculator all right so um here we go now, when it gives you the raw data like this, unfortunately, you have to do two steps before you can actually plug it into the calculator to figure out the confidence interval. And so the first thing that we need to figure out is our mean. And so the way you do that with the Alex calculator is grab all these values and hit X bar. This guy right here. Ta -da, there's our mean. Write that down. <laughs> okay, so X equals 0 0.15789. All right, it usually says... Um, carry your intermediate computation to at least three decimal places, so we can call it 0 0.158. Okay, and you won't get it wrong if you do it that way. All right, likewise, we need to know what our standard deviation is, so let's clear that out, grab all these values again, okay, and hit this S button. I don't know if I got them all, you got to be careful with this, so make sure you grab them all. All right, so just go slowly and make sure you get them all. So I got them all in there. Now I can calculate my sample standard deviation by using this button right here. Okay, and remember the the calculation for sample standard deviation is a little bit different than population standard deviation. So um, in this problem, you can use this. So 8.898, so three decimal places. All right. So now that we've done those two um, unnecessary steps, <laughs> we, can, uh, we can go ahead and actually do the um, the calculation for the um, t distribution or the t uh, the interval the confidence interval for a t distribution. That's this guy right here, okay? And so we're going to take our mean plus or minus t with our alpha divided by two. Given alpha, and remember alpha is just conf is just the inverse or the the complement of our of our confidence interval. I'll show you that in just a second, and multiply that by our sample standard deviation. Deviation. So we have sample standard deviation this time all over the square root of n. Okay, um, so we got our shopping list here. We know what our what our population mean or our sample mean is. So let's start with that, and that's that x bar. So our sample mean is o dot uh, dot one zero dot one five eight, and then plus minus and our t lookup. Okay, so t of course our alpha divided by two. Our alpha is just um, the the um, complement of this. So, dot o one divided by two is dot o o five with degrees of freedom. So nineteen is our sample size. So our degrees of freedom is one minus n, which is eighteen. If you did that. Um, uh, t distribution problem that should make sense to you all right so and then on top of this we're going to actually do um, this next piece which is sample standard deviation which is that thing we had to calculate which is 1.898 divided by the square root of our sample size which is 19 so I'll go ahead and punch that in there and remember give me two right arrows before you do that and ta-da there we go so now we should take a look at our mean which was dot one five eight this is lower than that and this is higher than that so we're good all right and so here we go our lower is one dot negative one dot how many decimal places one decimal place one dot one and our upper is 1.4 okay so you can do them that way in the calculator um you know it's exactly the same you just you do have to calculate the sample standard deviation and your and your sample mean regardless of whether you use the alex calculator or whether or not you use the spreadsheet so let's go back over to the spreadsheet here and let's write all this stuff down again so so our sample size our n is 19 okay and 
we got our mean, we got our sample standard deviation. The only other thing we need is our confidence level, which is uh, 99%. So 99%. So our alpha, all right, equals 0.01. All right. So let's go over to the spreadsheet here and let's go ahead and punch that stuff in here real quick. All right, so here's our spreadsheet. Make sure that you use this one. So, because in this case, we know what our sample standard deviation is. We do not know what our population standard deviation is. You need to use this one because this formula right here, confidence T is gonna use a T distribution. Whereas before when we were doing the standard normal, this formula uses the normal distribution or the Z distribution, okay? So make sure you're using this one, otherwise you will get them wrong <laughs> okay so our alpha in this case was 0 0.01 because our confidence level was 0 0.99 our sample standard deviation is 1.898 our sample size was 19 and our x bar was 0 0.158 okay so it kind of skips a couple steps there you don't have to worry about degrees of freedom or splitting your alpha in half but it does the exact same thing that the alex calculator does just does it quicker all right so here's our upper 1.4, and here's our lower negative 1.0. All right, so if we go back to the um, problem here, negative 1.1. So we were pretty close. I think if we go back and actually round that, let's just go ahead and do that and make sure that everything is nice and, and neat. So go ahead and pair these down and one dot one there we go <laughs> okay so exactly the same route um same it's two different routes to the exact same destination so uh pick your poison on this one but again just understand that with these problems in particular what you're gonna have to do is you're actually gonna have to do this calculation first get your sample size get your or sample standard deviation your sample mean using the alex calculator and then go ahead and punch that in either the spreadsheet or the formula in the alex calculator either one works for me Hope that makes sense to you, and hopefully these confidence intervals are kind of coming into line. There's a couple different ones that we'll do in the future, uh, but in the meantime, if you have any questions, ping me. Otherwise, we'll see you there. Take care now. Bye.